Ooh. Huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Let's do a drawing instead. All right. Welcome to episode two. Today's episode is uh, pod themed. The prompt, the drawing prompt, is pods. And as you can see in the amazingly hilarious intro, that uh, uh, that was also pod themed. Of, of course, I'm not going to eat a Tide Pod. Um, I even it didn't even look that good. I don't get it. Why? I, I don't. Know. You know, if you, if you've ever eaten a Tide Pod, I don't know. Light your computer on fire, and, or whatever you're watching. You know, your phone. You're probably watching this on your phone. If you've eaten a Tide Pod, you don't even have a computer. Um, so light your phone on fire and, um, and, um, I don't know, go, go outside and, uh, touch, touch grass. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, that's all I have to say about that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm drawing some pods here. Um. I don't know. I don't know what to say about all this, right? Like, uh, Cass, my lady friend, said they they look like a bunch of vaginas, um, which I guess I could see it now. But you know what? The vagina is in the eye of the beholder. Um, you know, at least that's what my grandma used to say. So, um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> But yeah, this was a fun one. Uh, the composition, I feel like. Uh, so when you're drawing these, uh, these like kind of doodles without a sketch, you gotta, you just have to like, um, kind of visualize the composition in your head before you're doing it. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of tough for me. It doesn't always turn out like, or maybe I just don't. St- I think it's more I just don't st- I don't take the time before I start the drawing to like stop and visualize the the composition very like you know very definitively it's also kind of hard to do when you don't like really know what you're going to draw yet you just kind of making it up off off the you know cuz like oh I'll start this and I'll be like, oh yeah, pods. I want to draw some pods and I'll have like an idea for a couple, you know, different types. But then I, you know, I start improvising after a while because I only thought it through so far. And, um, you know, maybe didn't plan it good enough. But I, I feel like it's like a ba- it's like a balancing act between having a clear idea of what you're going to do and just, you know, go and freeform with the doodle. Um, freeform with the doodle. But yeah, so I feel like if I plan it out in my mind too much, then I might as well just do a sketch, right? It's not really automatic drawing anymore. Maybe it's just like, maybe it's not even automatic drawing at all, right? Because I do think think ahead of like, you know, I'm like, oh, I kind of want it to have a, this kind of comp- composition or, you know, I'm also doing a prompt, you know, it's pods. It's, that's, that's not just automatic drawing where you're just drawing shapes and, you know, you're very much like, 
thinking of something and then drawing it on the page, so... But... I don't know, I guess trying to, like, classify everything, like, into, like, a type of drawing is kind of silly, right? Like, cause there's probably just as many ways to do it as there are people who do it, right? Um, so, yeah. I don't like doing sketches. I like to just kind of draw on the paper uh, with just straight with the pen. Maybe it's laziness, but like, I don't know. I hear a lot of people say they can't do it this way, so I don't know what it is. Uh, it's a combination of laziness and uh, just knowing how to draw shapes and make stuff out of shapes. It doesn't always turn out um, exactly how I, uh, you know, how I was thinking. That's okay. It's a sketchbook, and uh, yeah, I decided to uh, go by the episode for these uh, sketchbook en entries because this is actually technically page pages three and four, even though it's episode two, because um, I'm doing two pages at a time. So I didn't. I don't know. I, I feel like just going by episodes is less confusing than. Uh, going by the page number because yeah the first one would be one and two this would be three and four and then it's just gonna get weirder from there five six and that's episode three you know so i don't know oh sorry i burped i'm drinking a coke a coke zero it's good I gotta watch my sugar oh yeah this was a fun one uh, this, uh, big pod here was kind of, I was inspired by, uh, I was, you know, thinking about the, the movie, The Fly, Jeff Goldblum, where he, uh, you know, he has the telepods. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to, uh, spoiler alert, I guess you've had enough time to watch it though. Um, so I don't feel bad for you if you, if I'm spoiling it for you right now because I think it's from the 80s so movies like as old as I am and uh, yeah if you haven't seen it already well that's on you it's not my problem um, but yeah it's got Jeff Goldblum um, gets he invents a telepod you know where you go in it and then it teleports you and then it's combined with a fly and uh, yeah it's got some great moments you know where he's like barfing on his food and then sucking it up and, yeah it's just pretty disgusting um, but it's you know if you're into that sort of thing it's nice I give it a I give it a five out of five peppers just don't don't overanalyze it the continuity Maybe not, no, not the continuity, like the, you know, it's got, it's got a lot of plot holes, I guess is what I'm saying, if you like, if you overanalyze it, so, you know, you gotta go in with, uh, uh, reasonable expectations, but yeah, um, that's my surrealistic telepod, and, uh, on my pod-themed episode two of... Uh, my sketchbook thing. Okay. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye.